your natural hair is good for when you want to pick your kids at school. Oh, wow. Don't bring your natural hair to my event. I, okay. I the best man when I was skinny. I don't know what to say in that skinny girl. I have worked in a corporate firm. Yes. I have been an entrepreneur. Uh-huh. I've been a video recent. Uh-huh. I have learned the power, the in and out of trading since when I was 13. Come on. What do I bring to the table, honey? Hmm. Hi guys and a big welcome to the Bad and Bougie podcast. Yes, my name's Moea Bebe, also known as the goddess. goddess. And obviously, you know by now I don't do things alone on the show. I got the biggest badge. The biggest badge. The finest badge. Not the little one. Definitely not the little one. I know yes. that's right. <laughs> Talani Budge, aka the biggest badge. And I'm chilling with my special co-host, baby girl, I love you. I love you too. And girl. you look popping in that red, guys. What are you wearing? First of all, let's um, talk about what you're wearing. Mm, this brand, dude, I just stumbled upon it okay, mm. out of just by mistake. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Apparently they call this badge locks. Badge locks. Mm. Sounds very familiar. Mm. Do you mm. know it? I'm the owner of the brand. <laughs> <laughs> I own the brand, guys. Y'all shop badge locks, okay? We sell beautiful bags and nice female pieces. But that's besides the point, y'all. Yes, it is. In the studio, we have Coco by Chloe. She graced us with her presence, y'all. Hey Baby girl, welcome. Welcome, Thank Coco. You. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so honored to be on the bad and bougie. Okay. <laughs> so which one do you identify with more? Or are you into both? Bad or bougie? Hmm. Used to be bad, now I'm bougie. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the side. Welcome Thank to the you. side. I can be both. To be honest, I can be both. I can be both. To be honest, I feel the same too. I can be both. Yeah. I can actually be yeah, both. Yeah, you can be both. Depends. Who's asking? Mm, exactly. Mm. Depends on who's asking. All I right. Like that. So it's really good to have you here, Chloe. Thank um, you. Thank and, you, Jim. You know, I'm really, really um, excited about this topic in particular. Because mm, it has right. to do with, you know, beauty. Ooh, and I we all love know. that topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's we all what know I'm all about. <laughs> you are pretty much a beauty entrepreneur. Look yes, how came here natural, girl. I mean, guys. Just no makeup <laughs> and she's here repping natural because, beauty yeah. Coco by mm. you can purchase so let me be like back to Abby. I the brand <laughs> what's the name of Boy, your brand I know you can purchase uh, so <laughs> I have like several businesses but the one I'm really going to talk about now to be fair is mm. Coco by Chloe Beauty mm-hmm. and then um, we have range of skincare we have some cosmetics mm-hmm. and we also have the wellness part which is the pap and the weight gain syrup because I have the best weight gain syrup in the whole world mm-hmm. I bet my life on that is that and how you I, gain uh, weight? yes I was gonna ask yes La mole. is that yeah. cause babe Let you know I knew happened. you when you were skinny you know what I'm saying I'll be no, where she was skinny you. <laughs> so, so it was actually the syrup to be honest with you right I see a lot of comments and too many things on social media and I'm like, I think I'm too bougie to reply you guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> but now let me be bad. Mm. <laughs> Listen guys. <laughs> so a lot of people that don't know that know me, because you can't say you don't know Chloe for longest time on social media. I've been having Period. numbers where people say had zero. Per- you know me. So let me tell you something. I've been trying to add weight for the longest time. Mm. I tried everything. They say try um, oh, I mean, I tried that one. <laughs> somebody gave me abs. I've been trying Be- to lose weight. Do you know what so what I can't relate. Someone gave me abs. <laughs> yeah. I was eating these abs and they put just said, what do you <laughs> so, wow. you so pandemic happened. Mm. I was still skinny. I started doing research. I started looking for herbs. I can mix with this. I mix with that. I tried for a while. Then... This last one, I just mix three ingredients together. I'll be honest with you guys. I've never said this before. Three ingredients together. I use it. And the second day, people are like, I- I'll see your cheek. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Then after a month, I've never had a flat ass any- anyways. I'm tiny, but you know, there was still a cup. And my bum <laughs> started coming cup? out. <laughs> and my bum bum started coming out. Mm-hmm. And it was beautiful. It was so nice. But the stomach came too. Mm-hmm. And it's because I've not acted the trick already. You know, then it's just trying. And it's pandemic. Pandemic can make you do too many shit. Mm-hmm. I was eating like a bong fu and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, ah, pandemic, if you have my Snapchat. But I cook, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was, don't worry, don't let me mention this. But I cook sham. Yeah. So... 
I posted a picture on Instagram. I can't forget. I posted a picture for a year's show. Okay. Yeah, the one was doing pandemic. Okay. And somebody commented on that. Not just one person said, look at your stomach. Is she mm. pregnant? Oh God, hmm. comments on them. I'm like, God, what's going on? My stomach was so big. Then I had gone to see my auntie. Actually, Tiana is my auntie, my relatives, mm-hmm. right? So I went to see Tiana and I'm like, auntie, I'm... and she's like, oh, I know somebody. I know where you can do your body and stuff like that. Meanwhile, three years ago, I... Before my so my actual um Surgery. before pandemic okay. mm. two or three years ago, before then, me and Tiana was in Turkey. And I said, Tiana, I want to do my body. She looked at me and she said, Where's what the fat? Is, where's, where's the, the fat? fat? Guess what? Guess what? I did like that. I said, This is it. Then she did something. I love her so much. She always indulged me in all my madness. She <laughs> loves it. That's why I love her. She's like, Okay, let's book appointments for you. We got there. So I see people do it. I see review. We got there. The doctor actually told me, Look into my eyes, which is bad Turkish English, and said, Don't ever come back here again. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Why you she was laughing. Because she knew wow. that was she the knew. Thing. I was telling the doctor, like, Ah, seafood. Now I actually really really want to do my body because mm-hmm. I already had this picture in my mind. I feel like I'm going to rock better. Mm. So she gave me the surgeon. Pa, 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 one week. It's like, oh. I What's in work. Nigeria? I'm not going to disclose that because if my money is not in my bag, uh, I'm not giving you no customer. Okay. Okay. She ain't going to tell us where she got her body done. Y'all. Makes sense. One week, I did my surgery. God. It's like, I just say, blah, blah, blah. The doctor say, ah, no, let's give you one month, blah, 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 because you need to do this. I said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I just want next week. If I don't do it next week, I won't be able to do it again because now that my mind is there, let me just do it because I'm that kind of person. If I go mm-hmm. back home there, I just paid immediately. I've paid, oh God, millions, millions of whatever currency it is. <laughs> millions <laughs> of Naira. Coco. Okay, so you did Coco it in really Nigeria. Coco really thinks this is her show. <laughs> she did it in Nigeria. Wait, 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 let, me, let me get to the part. Down, of the, my baby. Of the weight gain syrup. Let me get to the part. Okay, so I'm going to be fast. So I did my body and somebody that's going to be bad, that's really bad, decided to take a picture of me because when I woke up mm. from the bed, I don't care who was around me. I just told people to take pictures of me that I want to see what my body looked like. So I just, I told my t- doctor that this is the particular body I want. Mm-hmm. I t- gave him three different pictures of three different women. Mm-hmm. I told him I want my stomach like this. Mm-hmm. I want my waistline like this. Mm-hmm. And I want my booty like this. Mm-hmm. I told him specifically to not pump anything into my boobs. Just give me hips. Okay. And to be honest, when I finished doing my body, my body was not this. Mm-hmm. It took me a year. And one thing people don't realize when they go and do surgery is that I'm just going to give you this thing because these are my girls. Okay. You cannot... Tell your surgeon to pop more fat in your butt and your hips. You don't know how your fat can survive. You don't mm. know the elasticity. Is that English right? Elasticity. Correct, madam. Yes. Yes. Well done. <laughs> of, your, <laughs> of, your, of, your, of your fat. You don't know if you're that kind of person that after surgery, your, your fat like spreads out. Mm. That's what people don't know. People actually go and do body because they want to look good. And you ended up looking horrible Mm -hmm. and you keep going and going again i read online on one particular page that says you can only get your final results after eight months to 12 months I waited. Mm. I had more. Mm. I, I even tried to go to gym. I was going to say, where you going to gym? Where you going to gym? Did, did you wear a waist trainer? <laughs> did you wear a waist trainer? I actually didn't wear a waist trainer. I wore yeah. her and I didn't wear my fire for long. I'm not going to go into the tips and tricks because I'm going to sell that to make money very okay. soon. So, but for now. I love a businesswoman. And I have people under my page saying that my weight gain does not work. First question. How did I have weight from size four mm. all my life? I was mm. skinny size four. To size 12. Mm. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Yeah. To size 10. How did I have weight? And how do you think everything in my body is in proportion? Why am I not looking like Spongebob? <laughs> why am I not looking <laughs> like Soja <laughs> Ants? And that's why, actually a Why thing. am I not looking like some of your aunties? Because let <laughs> me eat it by the, by the head. Do you why? want to mention these answers? Like, no, do, do I don't. Know them? No, I'm just saying like, I've been seeing it on social media. Everybody okay. keeps talking about Bust body. I see a lot. Let mm. me not even lie. I mm-hmm. see a lot, and I'm like, you should have consult me, honey. Okay. I would have told you. Start your, <laughs> start your business, ASAP, baby. Do you know what? what? What I'm trying to say is that it actually did work mm. from me being home. Mm-hmm. So I, I see no reason why people would be like, oh, she's lying. Her product didn't work, and that product, I am sorry to say, has been the biggest in my brand, mm. and as the reason why I sit and relax and be like, I don't even need to advertise because my 
My brother is like Gary J, but I don't need to yeah. advertise they sell. Mm-hmm. And if they afford what I want, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so so would you say that you did your body mm-hmm. because there is this general idea that, you know, bigger hips, bigger bum, small the, waist the is form, what is in a sense the, the beauty standard that has been set. That before I did my body, I've already had smaller waist, Pinkini eaves and boom boom. Mm. And I will not lie to you. I got the most men when I was skinny that but now. I was just about to real? say. Me? Chloe was so confident even without no. body. I have videos. I, sex mm. appeal on a hundred. I was. I, was, yeah. I will show you videos of Chloe dancing and niggas are still looking at her. I, okay. I the best men when I was skinny. I don't know what to say in that skinny girl. Do you mm. know what? I, saw, I was talking to my ex the other day and I said to him, I said, ah, why do you like something that looks that annoying and he's like shut the fuck up you don't even know what you had Ooh, really? but one thing about Chloe is that I'm gonna be skinny I'm gonna be thick okay and I'm gonna still be fat if I'm pregnant oh. and I'll still kill the girl. come on okay okay, okay. So, okay, okay. so doesn't that just so, go to show though that yeah. you don't necessarily need to necessarily live up to these beauty people standards people do too much mm. let's say for instance um, people that do Botox they do too much that makes them look plastic mm. you see some other people that do um um, Botox, they still look good. You yeah, can argue it. They yeah. actually have their lines mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. these lines actually shows that we are actually existing. Yeah, that's why human beings. But some beauty. people will blow it Do out everywhere. No, and see, too much of beauty is actually gonna make you ugly. Mm. I say that. Mm. Mm. Too much of everything. I want more. Boom, boom. Mm. I want this. That's why you look like that. Yeah. Mm. The only reason why I did my body. This is the first time I'm ever saying the reason why I did my body. It's not because people are out there saying, oh, your stomach is big. I can rough it. I can decide to slim to get uh, slimmer again. Yes, of course. I did my body because I actually love to want to fuck myself. Hmm. <laughs> it's Wait, simple. When you say fuck yourself, do you mean masturbation? No. Okay. I mean like standing in front of the mirror and I look at myself and be like, God damn. Like, yo, mm. who is this? You get what I'm saying? Actually, I'm sorry for using the F word, but it says bad and bougie, so we can use uh, hello, it. It's allowed, baby. But it's what I'm saying is that I actually did my body because I want to, it's for my self-confidence. Mm. And I would never, I'm in the past, I might have said, why are people doing their body? Mm-hmm. Mm. I slapped myself for that. Mm. Correction made. Oh, Do your body if you want to feel comfortable, honey. Do it. Do <laughs> comfortable it. or Do confident. It. And if you have enough money for consultation, come to me. Okay. What's the name of your consultant agency? <laughs> I don't have one yet. Talk about Chloe Consulting Agency. <laughs> give For the best name, my dear. Body. Body. I don't have a name yet, but I will say that if you want me to give you tips and tricks, you gotta pay. At this point, I'm not giving you guys for free because you guys keep going and doing shit. Because you got one of the best bodies <laughs> in, in Nigeria. Say, how does that make you feel? Yes, that people say you got the best body. Fulfilled. Mm, mm. I didn't like you did something right you get when people posted a picture when it went up on the blog and people were sending it to themselves what picture are we talking about oh so I just came out of surgery and okay. I was laying flat you know when you stay out the pipes and everything and somebody took a picture and sent it to a particular blog and it was everywhere I was so sad but you know the best result is always giving them and so, I look at my body every day and it keeps getting better that's the funniest part mm. it keeps getting better because I know when to eat. I know mm. when to not eat. I know mm. when to like wear strength. I know when to wear my faha. Mm-hmm. I know when to... I I have to approve everywhere. I'm checking. Girl, mm. you're on 26 now. Oh, you're on 28. Lie, lie. Oh, yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But these girls just do their body and forget about it. Yeah. It's not appealing. Niggas might want to fuck you or want to fuck you because they just want to see what's there. But trust me, they are not appealed by that. Mm. You can... Uh, I understand me. Oh, no more, that's not on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so no, I just feel like uh, after like eight months, no, first six months, I was complaining. No, mm. I won't lie. I said, hey, cool. See what I did now. My hips is not coming out now. See my hips and my waist are on the same mm-hmm. distance now, blah, blah, blah. And I realized that I, I was just bloated. Dramatic. I went to Google again mm-hmm. and I said, Google, what can I do? And you know what my baby is always going to do? Point you to direction. It will lead you to some rubbish show. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you check reviews mm. and make sure that they are not one Indian names that is putting reviews that they used to do. Make mm. sure there are people that you can take their emails and put it and send them emails and ask questions. I do mm. that all the time. I mm. love to ask questions. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, and Google said go back and do your massage. Research. Oh, 
Okay. I said, do your lymphatic massage every time. Up until now, the only thing I do is my massage one, once or twice. And I'm good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And everything is good. So how often is this? Once a week? Once in a month? Once in two weeks? Oh, no. If you get it, you get it. I just, sometimes once a month, sometimes once three months. It's just that for me to just get the fluid out of my stomach, mm. all the all the thing, just press the hair out mm. and stuff like that. It's so does your body tell you when it's time to get a massage? Yeah, you feel bloated. So okay. I detox a lot of time. Okay. I actually do. Mm-hmm. I detox a lot of time. Okay. And um yeah, it helps because we put all this food in our mouths, especially alcohol makes you fat unnecessary. Yes. People don't know that alcohol is the reason why you they, have they that food at the back. Mm. Alcohol stays in body for the longest time, mm. and it makes you fat. You can Google it. Ah, but when we go out now, I see you drinking she, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, she that's knows what, what I to detox. do after. Yeah, mm, that's okay. why I make sure that I detox, okay. mm. and I make sure that I drink more of spirits when I'm outside than champagne. Mm. Champagne is too many bubbles, yes, too agree, many gas. I agree. In you. Not really champagne, girl. Buy bon fatty and gone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we can we cheers? Yes. Yeah. So see, yes. Let's even just. Do that. Yeah. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Well, good life. Good life. More money, y'all. Thank you. Mm. Mm-hmm. You're so dramatic. Woo! Love it. Okay. So, you know, I love the direction that the conversation is obviously going. Woo! Lord. Um, you know, we are speaking about beauty. And one main thing that, you know, lots of African women, mm-hmm. especially when we're talking about beauty, it's about the hair. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you know, like that, like I feel like that's the beginning of beauty for a lot yeah. of african women you okay. know um and there's this whole battle mm-hmm. you know natural hair versus wigs or weaves what's your take on it um your natural hair is good for church programs your <laughs> natural hair is good for when you want to pick your kids at school oh, wow. don't bring your natural <laughs> hair to my event wow. what about no walking natural hair on your wedding day no way wait, natural wait, hair wait, on your wait, wedding wait. day before we get there hold on don't kill me the reason why i said that is that every women Men are beautiful in their own image. Mm-hmm. I have, I've never seen a ugly woman in my life. I keep saying it and people look at me and be like, you don't see, no, I don't see that because mm. we are crafted different way. God knew what he was doing. I can't Correct. create you so I can't, I can't say you're bad or you're ugly, mm. right? But if you insult me, I can call you ugly in the middle. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm saying is that I am a lover of natural hair. Mm. I had natural hair. I relaxed it. I cut my hair like every year mm-hmm. and grow my natural hair back. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. love it. Mm-hmm. And I realized that it's not actually very, it's not, it's not good to the sight every time. When you say the sights, like to see. To see <laughs> every time. It's, it's coming then from I, you. No, do you know what I did? Then I, I, I said, okay, how can I make it better? Okay. Mm-hmm. Braids is close to natural. Right? Okay. Okay. I make braids yeah. every time. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a weak person. I don't even know. You see, I cannot lay my edges. That's why I put this thing. I'm not a, a weak person. Mm. But when you want to wear natural right every time, but that's your choice. Mm-hmm. But think about it. Consider us. Have the fear of us. In Who is house. us? Me. <laughs> you. Like me. So, what, so what about the women that rock natural hair on their wedding day? I would love to do that. Would you do that though? No, I would love to do that because it's on my wedding day. Something different. Mm. I like to explore. I really want to wear a jumpsuit for my wedding if they let me. No, that's different. Yeah. Natural hair. I really want to. Yeah. So you'd really, actually be really, natural. I would really want to have a natural hair or extremely low cut on my wedding. It's my wedding day. I want mm. to see that picture again and be like, yeah, I did something different. Something but not different. every day. Mm, I get yeah. you. I get you. Um, I don't know if you saw this video of this pastor okay. where she um was saying, who natural hair help? Yeah, but who natural hair help? <laughs> so you're not saying organic products. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. So if you have natural <laughs> hair, you should be selling organic products. I have natural hair, but you... I'm wearing a wig. But I okay. don't have to. I can wear my natural hair if I want to go out. Mm-hmm. If mm. I'm going to the beach and I can wear my natural hair, it's mm. good for the beach. Mm. If I'm going to church, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if I'm church, going church. to pick my, maybe going to play with my niece, it's cool. If I'm in my house, it's okay. <laughs> but why would I want to wear a nice dress, expensive dress, mm-hmm. expensive ears? Mm. At least I'll do ponytail. At least. Mm-hmm. Like, but when okay. you do natural hair, you're wearing a nice dress. I'm looking at the dress up. I just look at the face, and they do want to. You know, they do want to when they pay me. Do <laughs> so we not do that small makeup and say you're a minimalist? No, <laughs> no, Chloe. <laughs> no, you know they do that. You never see somebody with natural hair. It's rare to see somebody with natural hair with a loud like really glam. Be like, oh my 
my I've god seen a few she's shots. Shots. i've seen a few i've seen a lot of them she looks yeah. sophisticated mm. they are the ones that they will not draw their brows mm. they will not put <laughs> idol like this no i love natural women i mm. i do mm. like i you can see no makeup exactly nothing. Uh-huh. yeah i love it but Please now, just like like if you're gonna be so natural on the face, why, 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 why don't be natural on the hair. The Snapchat, you know, look like we just asked you to follow us. So please, but you know, I, I have natural hair, I love it. Mm-hmm. But please, so that we're not gonna cut you for video. You I, know, you you know what I'm talking to. I honestly can relate <laughs> to Chloe because low key, I'm on low cuts. Like if you know me, my mm-hmm. hair is blonde, whatnot. Mm-hmm. But I always gravitate towards wigs. Yeah. I don't care about what people think. Mm. It's not because of anybody. It's just what I'm comfortable in. Mm. Some days if I wake up, if I feel like wearing yeah. my blo- my low cut, I go do them. But I will not wear low cut to a glam event. I'm do sorry. Do you get what I'm oh. saying? I don't want to do that. Do you get what See, I'm now, saying? This, I don't do that. This is where I'm a bit different, you okay. know, in the sense that, and, I, and that's what I was even leading to the question when it comes to, mm-hmm. you know, if you do have this sort of point of view, doesn't that now mean that there's something in a sense, wrong. No, I'm not with but, our but remember that's said, coming from no, your. No, but you remember I said it's not wrong because I have it also. Okay. I'm a fan of it. If you check mm-hmm. my page, you see my natural. I like mm-hmm. my fro. I love it. Mm. But what I am saying is that there are some. Okay, let me put it this way: there are some looks that that don't require. Don't go. Yes, I get okay. it. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. There's okay. some looks. You can do some corner on the side and pack it as more or mm-hmm. um, my my lunch last year. Were you, you were you, you were purple? Yes, I, was. I think. You see, I was wearing purple and my hair uh, and mm-hmm. I did some sm- mm-hmm. Yeah, and me, I love natural hair. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I mean like, yeah. Not you can't just wear every time. All those glitters. Every day. And, <laughs> and I'm looking at you from there and I'm like, ah, ah, baby, we won't need the Yeah, you just get in the head. Girl, and you, then it's you like, you could have done better here. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> you could have just, you know, there's just a look he gives. I love yes. natural hair, but you know, even 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 mostly Americans are the ones that love to keep, mm-hmm. keep their natural hair the most. Mm. They blow it out. Mm-hmm. They style it. They put some flip on it. You see them, they look good. But we don't have that texture in Nigeria. That's we why don't. we are weak. We don't. Or do no. braids. Come roll it. Okay, so, so, so you personally feel that it is more of a Nigerian girl thing, like because we don't have uh, this no. texture. Nigeria, I don't do I'm rich Americans. Natural mm-hmm. hair. It's all over, man. I don't it's think all it's over. Nigeria. I'm just saying to my mm-hmm. own sisters because I love them. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying sometimes give us cornrows, just switch it up. Give us cornrows. But cornrows is natural. A lot of no, people say I, that that's you, natural. You put extension on the teeth, and if your hair is long enough, you can do some say, nice stitches. Do okay. you get what I'm saying? I got attachment. You, do you get what I'm saying? You had attachments. You yeah. do some ponytail. You know, there's some nice. Nice ponytail, silk bag with all this um, virgin airs that mm. look natural to as well as the extension. Like, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, I love those ones. But just with your fro. Oh, mm-hmm. no, come on, girl. Do You're you believe in? Way. Do you believe in pretty privilege? Mm. The sniggers that have the real, real money and all the pretty women. Think so, about it. So when you say not with pretty women, you mean like what they don't, I mean, they like don't I just, settle you, you, down? You're going to see a a, a man, mm-hmm. and you look at the girlfriend. And you're like, oh, this is not what you expect. She's not ugly, but you, this is not what you expect. Mm. Pretty privilege don't pass. It's the days of our father. All those uncle that just want to chop young girls. But are they, are they not still there? They I, still want to I'm, chop young girls I'm now. I'm getting old now, so I won't really know them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe they're just older. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I won't really know them because I, I can't have com- such kind of conversation, conversation now. Mm-hmm. No, no, one old man will not just... Do you get what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that Pretty privilege used to happen the most then. When I was young, when I was in high school, there was pretty privilege in my school. Mm-hmm. People talk to the, trust me, the guys only talk to the bad and bougie girls. The ones that put lip glosses, mm-hmm. the ones that are very popular. light skin. Popular. My best friend there, rest in peace, Titi, I miss you. Oh, oh, my best friend then, um, she was light skin. All the guys want to talk to her. Mm-hmm. I'm dark skin. Remember, mm-hmm. I am skinny. Mm-hmm. I look like in the girl. <laughs> <Except Bankere. laughs> Nobody want to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Then we finished uni. Uh, we finished secondary school. Then was uni days and I started entertainment and I know what's up. And it's like, nobody's talking to her anymore. Then she's like, mm-hmm. oh, come and take me out. Oh, let's go out together. Then mm-hmm. I'm like, this guy used to make me cry to sleep. Like, why am I not like skin? Mm-hmm. One time I went to buy one cream. See the way my mother beats me. Sheesh. Bro, mm-hmm. my house is always black soap. That's all we mm-hmm. use. Till now it's black soap. I don't use anything. Mm-hmm. I make my black soap. So I use black soap. I believe in black soap yeah. because it maintains your melanin. Yeah. And it gives you that young look, regardless even when you're stressed. Mm-hmm. Black soap has so many 
things. It's just like vitamins to mm. the body. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. So then eh, I went to buy. I um, ah. Hey, fashion fair. I know fashion fair. <laughs> I think we all know fashion fair. I went to buy fashion fair. If you see the way my mother puts it inside, the she should press the tube like this. Oh, I can't forget one fifty naira. Be is it up to one fifty? Maybe fifteen naira. I bought that fashion fair. That be one fifty naira. I cannot forget Jaye bus stop. This you see all those women that used to sell cream. They bleached all their body. They say me too. I want to be like Titi. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I found my own true beauty in a f- in a freaking bus. Mm. Trust me, I had had the worst experience of my life. My mother had just scraped out my hair. I was supposed to go and pick up another jam phone. I'd come from my first university. Say, come back, go for your mom. She come mm. back home, come and write jam again. Uh, sister, I went to three universities before I graduated. Oh wow! So I, as I was going bad, my yeah. mother was asking me to come back home. And I was in the car, mm. in the bus, so more well, oh, should you, should you, should I remember <laughs> I was going to oh, <laughs> Then my mom, uh, then the, there was a guy sitting beside me. I said, do you model? I look at everything they do. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I was I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I then the man said, ah, do you know there, blah, blah, blah. He said, ah, where are you going? I said, um, I'm going to, Ike- it was Ikeja, no, it should be Ikeja. He was like, oh, my studio is here. Let's do some one or two things. Pa, 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 pa. Next week, he called me. He said, oh, this guy, Ayo, the artist that did, um, what was this, MTM Project Fame, said mm. he want to have you in his video. Can you wow. come? And they started, and I'm like, yo. Mm. <laughs> What's the video of Oh, shit. I remember you video of Big C. Hello, fellow video mixing. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I was the skinniest person always shaking my bum, but oh then I just shake that. Yes, yeah, so they shake and they still they shake. shake. That, yeah. oh. but you know they shake now. That's how I started. They shake now. It was just like uh, my mom tried to punish me. A blessing me in disguise. And it became a blessing. Mm. Yes. So no matter what you're wearing, yeah. it's, still, it's still good. It's I just feel like, good. oh, some event, just dress up. Okay, let me put it that way. Dress up. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty privileged you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was that skin. I was size four. Mm-hmm. I had skin cuts and goodness was following me. Mm-hmm. So it's not about when you're light skin or hair. No, see, people see beneath the beauty these days. Mm. Because we are in an era that there's too many podcasts that can open your eyes. There's too many books that can point you to something. And there's too many experiences. The, the media is now broad. Yeah, yep. Everybody can pick from here. Yeah, you see one thing, one thing, yep. one thing today. Mm-hmm. So people don't want to fuck with your beauty or your body anymore. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, your body will attract me. I like them. Mm. That's why they call it oh, sex appeal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But when they move closer, what do you, what is there? What's mm-hmm. in your brain? Some other guys are obsessed with, oh, I like a girl take to a party and everybody's looking at mm. why some guys do not like it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So is is um front to Tolani, mm-hmm. back to Chloe. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. is facing you is, mm-hmm. is backing me. Mm-hmm. So I don't think there's pretty privilege. Maybe to younger ones coming, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe pretty privilege is working for them. Mm-hmm. But on the table that me I sit, I be on the seat that I sit, that I'm looking right now. Mm-hmm. It's not about pretty privileges. Look at this men how they handsome looking men, and you look at the girls. Basic, you think? <laughs> basic, but, yeah. I personally don't think anyone no, is you basic. Think. No, no, wait, wait. I said you should have let me finish. I said basic, you think? But what the man sees? What? Wait. <laughs> but what you. the man sees is actually different from what you're seeing. That's his queen. True. Do you get what I'm saying? What where is facing to Tolani is backing me. Mm. What somebody likes, another person does not like. Mm. Some men will kill anything for dark skinned women. Mm-hmm. I know those men. Mm-hmm. They get attracted, they see the beauty. And I will tell people when you see a beauty in dark skin, you sabi. You know beauty. And I have some light skinned friends that are very true to themselves and true to nature. And they will tell you that, Chloe, I really want your skin. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's different. But that privilege, ah, maybe not for me. So what, do, do, do you disagree? Do you agree? I actually believe that pretty privilege exists, right? Not mm-hmm. only in romantic relationships, but I'm thinking more of like business opportunities, yeah. right? Even video vixens. It's just recently that dark-skinned women, it became cool to be dark-skinned. Yep. Dark-skinned women were, we were never always appreciated. But can, I, can, I, can I talk on that? Jackie Landy, no. Okay. <laughs> But like, I feel like dark skinned women have, we, we, it's just now that we, we are being appreciated. 
I've not always felt like the prettiest person, to be honest, especially growing Are up. Are you pretty? I'm gorgeous. Hello. Yes, okay. boo. I'm gorgeous. But okay. growing up, I just always felt and believed that light skinned girls would come before me. Mm. It was until I became like maybe SS2 that I'm not okay. Fire. Oh my God. I'm a fine girl. Do you get so? Got to a point where I did not care if I was friends with a light skinned girl, whatnot. Mm-hmm. To me, I'm still a bad bitch. To okay. me, I'm still a, a gorgeous woman. So mm. it had to start from me believing in who I am yeah. first. But it was not always the case that mm. I believed that I was a beautiful, beautiful woman. Okay, on the contrary to that, before I go to the first one, I was going to say is that do you think light skinned people don't have inferiority complex too? Major inferiority complex. God bless I've you. never thought about that before. To be Major. Fair. It's crazy. Most of my friends are, are light skinned mm-hmm. and I'm grateful for my own light skinned friends. Mm-hmm. They want to be dark. They appreciate their skin. They maintain their but skin. But that was not always they, the case. Too. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm, I'm, no, see, I'm, I'm trying to like explain. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to bring it back. When you talk about being a video vixen, they use more light skinned people. It's easier to edit light skinned people. Producer, look into my eyes. A director, I mean, look into my eyes on the set and said to me, Chloe, the reason why I'm putting you back is because editing light skinned people is easier. Mm. Dark skinned people, whatever it is, we show. But light skinned, you see light skinned people, even if they don't have makeup on, they look like they have makeup on. Yeah, yeah. they still beautiful. And and that, that is that the only privilege. That is the only privilege that I think they do have. Mm. But to get a job better than me, what do you bring to the table? Let me put it on there. Oh, they were talking about table again. Tell us what you no. bring to the table first, Hi. Chloe. Wait, okay. no, wait, wait, wait. wait. What I will not answer that question because no man I've ever been with. She's running from the question. Has ever asked okay. that question. No, I'm not running. I'm answering you. No man has, I've ever been with has ever asked me to do something in a relationship. She brings nothing to the table. So is it nothing? No, I'm not saying I bring... No, I mean like, why I can't relate to that question is because nobody has nobody ever asked, asked me. Or nobody has put me in a position of what do you bring to the table? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what do I bring to the table? Please I tell us. Chloe. Come on. I graduate in accounting. Okay. Yeah. Accounting at due. Uh, hello. Aqua culture. Okay. Like a three degree, honey. I bring mm. a lot to the table. Come mm. on. I have worked in a corporate firm. Yes. I have been an entrepreneur. Uh-huh. I've been a video recent. Uh-huh. I have learned the power, the in and out of trading since when I was 13. Come on. What do I bring to the table, honey? Hmm. I bring a whole lot. Uh-huh. Me being a mother figure to your kids is something I bring to the Please table. Please scream Me that. being your girlfriend is something I bring to the table. <laughs> okay. Me making sure you're okay, your business is doing good, I'm texting you, I'm, be, I'm, cons- I'm like you're consulting me. I am sending you prayer messages what I bring to the table. I cannot give you money, honey. Mm. You are the one that will give me money. Yes. This, this, is, this, this is our access <laughs> track days. Like- but what I bring to the table, oh, plenty of people, oh, pogo. Oh, going back to that is because it's easier even photography let's mm-hmm. think about it mm. we shoot with light-skinned people i shoot with light-skinned people mm. it's easier then i'm looking at myself i did a shoot for be fine in miami four years four or five years ago when they sent me the picture to select I got the eggs and say, I'll be a sick knee. <laughs> because I was beside light skin person. Yeah. And it's perfect. Good to go. So you won't blame them. I won't blame them. When I didn't know about it, I feel like it was a pretty girl's privilege. Mm. But nobody won't walk die. Of course not. Mm. Then if it's, it's, a, if it's a set of dark skin people, I know that, yes, I'm editing a lot. Mm-hmm. But not light skin, dark skin. So yeah. you cannot think that the producer or directors have not taught about it. But it's easier. Uh, light skin people, I don't know how you do it all. Mm-hmm. But it's just camera sets go for you. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, black is a lot, it's it's a lot yeah. of work. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't sleep, you don't sleep. I don't sleep, it's showing. Mm, you guys there. Right, eh? right. You guys there. Eh? But the you privilege guys. cannot take anything from me. My okay. Worry, okay. okay? So, so, so let's even now just go back to even just the hair thing. Thing. We're going back to this natural hair thing. Well, it's all part of beauty, my I'm darling. I'm a fan of it. Can we talk about tattoos and piercing? We're gonna, get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. But okay, so but yeah. just even just back to you the, say you're a fan of natural hair. Well, for me, it's not like that. Like it's necessarily yeah. that I'm a an outright fan, but mm-hmm. I am always going to be a fan of a woman that is that feels the most safe. Let's say. In her own natural state. Like, I just feel like there's just so much going on for women. Makeup, waist trainer, have nice body, mm-hmm. do this one. And like the least 
at least if you can just own your natural hair. I do I do agree that not everybody has the best. It is definitely very time consuming. Mm. Like, you know, it takes more effort. I agree with all of this. But if you're able to create that yeah. for yourself, mm-hmm. I feel like you should own it. Honestly, I'm going to say to you today. <laughs> on Please. This, on this bad and bougie podcast. Okay, Auntie That to maintain <laughs> natural God, hair God. is not for the weak at oh, yeah. Yes, it's not. Really yeah. That's what I'm saying. I am saying. not going against natural hair. See, look at this. It's not uh, right. You go off, off your wig. Off your wig. You're gonna take off no. the wig. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you off your wig? Let me. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Tolani, I won't let you take that part from me. Kenny. <laughs> Seem natural. If you go on my socials, if you know me, you know I cut my hair every other day. I'm always mm-hmm. a natural. Please, nice please. I've even seen you in my hairdresser. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But what I am saying is that it's not every time. And sometimes you don't know that it actually damage your hair by keeping it and out, so right? See, the, 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 oh, that, the atmosphere in Nigeria style. is not yeah. good to protect your hair. Yeah, you have to protect. But what I am saying is that when you come to an event, when you're going to an event, you have a nice dress on, just look complete. <laughs> as a woman and this is not so me telling you that you have complete. to look complete this is just me giving an advice as a fellow natural as a elf. big sister <laughs> as a big sister as your daughter as anything you can call me right now but we are wearing this wig this wig my mama get this kind of air do you feel any difference wearing a wig to be honest, I prefer braids. I like natural things. Mm-hmm. I do okay. braids mostly. If you mm-hmm. see, I I, oh, okay. I love braids. Mm. But sometimes now, if I'm going to events, now front half you do the outfit. Oh, front half, yeah. backless clothes. Something frontal. You do I get? feel you. Sometimes, but ponytail that will come up as well. Natural, there's no way you will do it. Do it that I will give you that. But you can still just like straighten it, pack it together, mm. braid it, and put some ponytail. It can even be those detachable one. Just like. As it look like just put effort, like you try to do I'm something to the hair. But why does it mean that you're not putting in effort? Because okay, to your be hair honest is natural. with you, when it comes to wig or natural hair, natural hair actually take more time than wig. I'll be honest with you, because you need to you need to first put the um, um, conditioner to soften mm-hmm. it. Before. Hey, mm-hmm. I did cry when I did brush my hair. Mm. Actually, I don't texturize. I'm sure. Is 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 very difficult. I love it. It feels like a crown on a woman. Mm. But please, now once in a while, some outfit yeah. just go with it. It's just like you wearing trainers on a, on on Ashebi. Yeah, mm. I get you. I get you. It's I wrong. You. Or you are putting on leku geli on bum shot. Mm. Uh-uh. Some I can't make That's that look nice though. though. I can't make that do that. I'm just saying that is 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 okay. It goes, but what it I does, mean, right? But you what I'm I get what we do. Yeah, I get what yeah. you're saying. I get what you're saying. I love women when I try. I love you guys. I wish I could, I have the long one. I would mm. be honest with you. Maybe I'm 18 because I don't have. So the is long it yes? One. Yeah, you know sometimes I also feel that people also have this idea because it's maybe their own hair is not not like it's not like really like well taken care. Of. You see some natural hair and it's like whoa, oh, like big, some natural nice. Hair. Oh, long. talking about natural hair, my friend Anto and Savannah has the most amazing natural hair. It's so soft. I think it's because Anto used a product. It's so soft and it's like when they brush it out, like, mm. my hair can never. So do I you was, feel I it's because? Dressed, yes. So do you feel it's because you don't necessarily, you haven't necessarily tapped into the fact that you know you no, can I actually. Wear, like, I won't wear natural hair all the time. I don't even like eating rice wouldn't. every day. I okay. mix it up. I do beans. Like oh, you can't see me finish. Mm. If so, you do, so, if you do um um natural hair <laughs> every day, I, do you get what I'm saying? So I'm you not, feel it's still finished. I'm expecting you to come in with natural hair. But mm. if you give me this today, natural hair. Give me the, I like natural it hair is boring, guys. I'm so there sorry. There was Linda, Katisha, Benda, <laughs> and Moses. How are you there able to do that? Katisha. Katisha. How are you able to do that? Okay, maybe you can do that. You can switch dance. it up, man. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, so let's switch even, it up. even just move on to other beauty standards because okay. I feel like we really dwelled on this hair <laughs> thing mm-hmm. a bit. Mm-hmm. And we've also dwelled on the body. So let's even just talk about, you know, tattoos, piercings, even just some, 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 like other enhancements. I really don't like piercing because of you, the pain. Even veneers. I love tattoos. I know the two of you, the two of you have veneers. Us, yeah. As well. We are tatted up queens. Tattoo girls. Oh, yeah. Tattoo girls. Yeah. I have one right here. Tattoo Tattoo girls, veneers, tattoo girls. You got veneers so you have well. veneers, tattoos, piercings, piercings fillers. Yes, I you, you got fillers. some fillers. Please explain because hello, who told you I have fillers? 
Because some people said that you have done your body, and I, I just see you. I say, ah, I mean, like my girl. No, no, no wait. First of all, no, oh, she posted something. Oh, that uh-huh. pillar. So tell us about that. He pillars. Yo, people really think I did BBL. I didn't do BBL, oh. No, she definitely didn't do a BBL. I just went to go and feel my hip boobs. <laughs> you know when babes are curvy like this, and they are just basically, you get, and I just go and feel the corners to just make it but how is look it? plump. Is it good? Does it last? It's expensive. It doesn't last as much. It lasts yeah. like what? One and a half months and then you got to keep yeah, nah, doing it. You got to keep doing oh. it. So, no point. so there's no point doing it. Yeah. But me, I just did it because I wanted to experiment and, and I like it. I see I'm myself give, doing I'm, it more I'm gonna often. Give you, no, I'm going to give you one advice. Do mm-hmm. not experiment on things they inject into your body, my love. But then they inject that's not that's not fat. Ass shots, though. No, no, they inject no, fat. Hyaluronic, that, your body. that hyaluronic. is a surgery process. What is? I am so sorry that I have seen so many people that have done that fillers. Hope, hope, you're, not, have hope you're not mixing fillers and ass shots together. Oh. No, not ass shots. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, yeah, because yeah, I, I, yeah. I think you are. Ass shots is the dangerous one. I think you are. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. never do oh, okay. that one. Yeah, no, no, no. That one is this very is just dangerous. Fillers, just like literally what they put and in like your lips and your yeah. cheeks, but they just kind of put it on your hips now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a different and process. It's, and it's, it's safe. I wrote back. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the whole like surgical be process because yeah. like, like let's be real you know mm-hmm. I'm sure that's like it's surgery at the end of the day you yeah. know you got to do those tests you got mm-hmm. to do all those mm-hmm. you got to be put under a lot of people are mm-hmm. actually afraid mm-hmm. so it makes so much sense why somebody would rather just go once a month this and what just I did your mother, like, you did a whole BBL event. hello you couldn't sit on a bonbon for how many months please oh honey I sat on my bonbon the second week second week Oh yeah! Even, I'm saying give it all the tricks and oh <laughs> without God. pillow, without no without pillow. pillow, no pillow, nothing. I I didn't use the pillow. Mm-hmm. Okay, I use my pillow. Oh, so you have your own pillow? I don't have it. I wouldn't come on this place and lie. It's killing me. I I went. I told you I did a lot of research. I mm. called a lot of people. Mm. I spoke to a lot of people I wouldn't speak to. Mm. I even DM'd American superstars. I'm mm. like, hey, I'm sorry, please. But- I, I, need I, help. Have a, Savannah, I have a friend. I have a friend. My friend Savannah. She works with. Uh, Hi Savannah. She, yeah. Oh, yeah, friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Savannah does PR in America, so she okay. she hangs with all those rappers or the celebrities. I'm mm-hmm. like, Could you please let me ask this person, Eve? And she's like, Chloe, oh, yeah, are you serious? I'm, like, yes. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Yeah. Me? And that's fair. As I like to see eyeshadow, I'm about to ask you what color. How do you put it? Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. to ask questions. I might not do it, but I love to ask questions. Mm-hmm. So. I didn't use the BBL pillow. It's too stressful. Mm. And most of people have dents because of that. Really? Because you sit and it stops at somewhere and that part is choking your yarns that you just did. Maybe that's what makes them look like SpongeBob sometimes. I, I did. I, I, I actually <laughs> invented a pillow. Okay. I have not done it. I won't like to. I don't even know if I will, inv- I will post it or I will do it in future or anything. But actually... Did a pillow for myself that was so comfortable. Mm-hmm. I started driving next week. I'm too. And your bum bum still looks this good? Girl, Hello? that what is torture. I don't I mm-hmm. It's soft. I touch it all the time, guys, y'all. It's this soft. Some people, soft. they will sit down and have dents. I would not yeah. advise you mm-hmm. to just sit down. I actually did natural sitting down on and lying down. I won't lie to you. There's BBL bed, there's BBL. <laughs> See, there are many BBL things. I swear, I see these people in Nigeria. They are selling BBL stuff, and I'm like, you don't have this. You actually did so not. Why don't you start an them. empire? I am going to start the empire because I just want you guys to keep trying. You know when the queen. Uh-uh. It's, it's just gonna. It's just gonna help, be like, help them now, Chloe. It's just gonna be like save me a comment to say because no, in all honesty, there is a pandemic. There is a pandemic of messed up bodies. So I would rather I see a whole bunch of bodies that look like yours. Uh, please, yeah. I'm just going to say this. If you seeing. have a butch body and you need an advice because I really don't want to see my sisters looking bad. We okay. Have exactly. We have to be bad and bougie, not bad, bad. Okay. Be bad, bad. So, bad, bad. You can send me a DM uh, and I can, I can, I can do What's free, your Instagram free, name? Free, free. Coco. If you don't know me, everybody then why, knows Coco no, by Chloe. Know me, then why do you need my advice? This is I why. Mean, why they are rich or why no, they are so? I am 
me. Let me just no, tell you. No, on this kind of conversation. Coco by Chloe. Simple. Oh, you, could have, Chloe. you could have kept it simple. This <laughs> advertise your market. Yeah, yeah, say you don't need to Give them your Instagram, no, madam. No, to be honest, because uh, with still my Instagram page, I really don't want too many followers on my personal it's not Instagram about that, page. Like, people, people don't know me, don't know help, me. No, love. I'm saying that I'm talking about the ones that know me. I say my sisters. So if they don't know my Instagram, Maybe what's the point of advising you? Why would you even call them your sisters? I don't know. What do people see that for the first time, though? That's true, though. What people are seeing for the first time? Oh, it's true. It's true, because my man's having the first time on a show. Do you get it? People are going to be seeing you for the first time, so why not introduce yourself? Okay, so guys, my Instagram name is Coco by Chloe, but I would rather you follow Coco by Chloe Beauty. Okay. that's where all my clients come from. How do you spell your Coco by Chloe, please? K-O-K-O-B-Y-K-H-L-O-E. Everything best start with K and okay. everything bougie has O in it. Okay. Well, it did not go. But does it go? Big it, it goes, go. it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. <laughs> well, okay, so, you know, yeah. from this whole discussion, yeah. I feel like the best way to sort of like just wrap up is just with this um final question, which is why do you necessarily think that there is this general demand for a lot of people to do their bodies, a lot of girls to spend so much money on wigs, mm. a lot of girls to do all these tattoos, okay. or yes, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, like, yes, like okay. why, why is there this general need I for think, women yeah. to have to fit to these beauty standards? Okay, so let me tell you something. I have friends that don't have tattoos. Mm-hmm. I actually love... See, let me tell you one thing. Let me be honest. Let me put myself on a... On pedestal? Uh, no, no, no. What's that thing they put Jesus on? Cross. On the on cross. cross. And let me nail myself. <laughs> I insult everybody that do BBL when I have not thought of doing BBL. I'll be like, why is this one doing BBL? Okay. What's even this? Why would you gonna put yourself under the knife? Yeah, I'm one number one critic. And when it comes to veneers, I'm like, why are they doing veneers? I have the best dentition. I still do. I did my own dentition. But... I used to tell people, why would they do veneers? They have mm. good dentition. See, let me tell you something. At poverty, they make people, they reason no Think. sense. When I used to enter economy, I used to say, why are people entering business class? It's not me saying, and you, I don't now, get there together. I cannot step my feet in, in economy. I, say, I, I swear, sorry to people that place. are doing this. I pray that anybody that's entering economy, well, shall, if everybody enter business, who will be in economy? But let me say this. But <laughs> well, that's the point of economy no, now. I pray, Economical. Yeah. No, you no, can't no, afford wait. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we can afford it, but we don't want to waste our money. Facts. Maybe that kind mm-hmm, of thing. Mm-hmm. I actually pray for everybody to like be able, able to, to fly afford. comfortably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's com- comfort mm, is beautiful. It is. Oh, it's I sweet. Ju- ah! mm-hmm. Money is good. Economy, though. Let me tell you something. That's economy just days, when I come down from a flight, uh-huh. I, my hair, I'm trying to pop my hair. Uh-huh. I'm trying to, my neck don't hang like this. <laughs> I'm trying to stretch my back. <laughs> the first two days of my trip, if you have been following me on Snap, I'm always off. Because mm. I'm trying to get myself together. Mm. But now, girl, I've been Snapchatting my business card. Like, oh, you just brought me champagne. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, life is good. I will be honest yeah. with you. When I don't have these things, I always criticize other people. Like, mm. I, really do their body. Mm-hmm. I feel comfortable in my body mm. right now. I've always, see, okay, let me say, me is coming from somebody that I've always felt comfortable in whatever skin or body mm. she's on. When mm-hmm. I was skinny, I was doing it. Yeah. When, I, when I'm thick, I'm doing it. If tomorrow mm-hmm. I get married, I have kids and I get fat, if I don't feel like doing BBL, which I am definitely going to do after childbirth mm-hmm. to get my body together because my husband have to collect every day. Okay. Come but on. If I decide not to do it again, I'll still be comfortable yeah. mm-hmm. in my skin, in my mm-hmm. body and mm-hmm. everything. So I will advise everybody, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Do it. If it's peer pressure, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Peer pressure make people doing rubbish mm. yeah if it's, if it's peer pressure you just want to do it you don't want to research yeah you don't want to ask questions you just want to you don't do want to ask your doctor what you want you just say your body do my uh, mm. doctor just do my, do my body. body no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm being honest with you because some people i've seen some people see that say, oh my god i want a body like yours because i like your body no don't do mm. your body because you, you like chloe's body because you like chloe's body you not come out as chloe's body because True. you will not research you just carry chloe's body me i pick hips i pick waist from different women mm-hmm. i pick yash the way i want my yash to be from another person no mm. it's to be no but it's true. I appreciate it's the true. honesty i appreciate the honesty I they feel to be honest <laughs> like people just go there and say eh. okay for instance i want to get my boobs done oh my god i'm giving too much but taking it but <laughs> i have done reduction 
Nobody knows. I didn't know that. You've done a boob reduction? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I started having, and my boobs started getting big. Gains, yeah. And one thing I do not it's like, I'm a though. woman, is that I swear, I prefer women with this kind of boobs on their chest. Hey! Hey! I really do love it. Hey! I don't know why. It's so big. No, no, no. Do you know why? 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 Why you have to It's not big. Why? Is it as big as your own? You know why? <laughs> yes. Uh-uh. I'm like, boobs big. Come uh-uh. on. <laughs> you know women now when they have that small boobs and you have this tiny waist and okay. you have the hips mm. that's my own vision of what I have seen myself Sexiness. as mm. so other people put more I did reduction I'm doing my boobs now to put implants right mm-hmm. or implants or lifts or whatever mm-hmm. I, want, I choose to do but it's not going to be as big as it would be if I have left my boobs like that mm. so I didn't just go to the surgeon and say today 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 <laughs> I want you to do my reduction and put my implants and mm. I want to be perfect I don't, I'm not a lunatic mm. I decided that please let me face I don't want to go through it because stop I don't want to stretch myself mm-hmm. okay let me do my let me do my reduction mm-hmm. let me do my reduction mm-hmm. then let me not pull my implant okay. so if you want to do it because of peer pressure or because you want to look like somebody my sister don't bother mm. use your money to go and buy a soon and chop okay. but if you want to do it because of why not shawarma body, no <laughs> oh, shawarma oh, <laughs> yeah, shawarma <laughs> do it for body positivity if you want mm. to do it for I own my shit I'm a queen I love mm. my body mm. then you can do it okay mm. but if you think because of uh, A did it you can go and look like Zedo hey. what about people that even that, 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 there's this argument that a lot of women are also doing their bodies for men like now do you personally feel that you have gotten more male attention since I you just got your said it's that I got more male attention when, when I was slim, slim. Mm-hmm. so now they already oh. think oh she only has body to offer mm. Mm. And that's when they don't get it that I, I'm not even looking for you because I had finished my life outside mm-hmm. before I decided that, okay, this is how I want to look. Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm not even talking to the nigga that want to fuck me. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to the, to the nigga that want to impart in my life. That Come on. That want to empower you. Hello. No, it's not even... Girl. Empower no, me. No, I understand. No, but my hint is not empowerment. Man's empowerment. Me, I'm more of, can I mentally relate with what you're saying? Can I sit down and think about what you said to me? I'm on that stage right now that every friendship, every relationship, I have to, I call myself a stealer. I have to steal something from you. Either I'm stealing knowledge or I'm learning loyalty okay. or I'm learning this. I have to steal from, like you have to impart in my mm-hmm. life. I used to call myself, I said, I am a learner and I am a people pleaser. If I want to get your attention, I can do anything in the world to get your attention. I am that kind of person. People see me outside and be like, oh, she's a snob. She doesn't talk. She doesn't have too many friends. No. If I want something, if I want a contract, if I want a job, if I want a particular money, I can call a man 255 times with messages and saying, baby, why are you doing this now? Baby, it's mm-hmm. unfair. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby, try to talk to me now because I, I, I'm a stealer. I'm a, I'm a thief. I'm a thief. <laughs> Yeah, we I'm a thief. No, seriously, I'm, I'm a thief. No, to be honest, I am a thief because I want to steal from everybody. I'm here because I want to take one thing and one thing. Maybe well, not true, thief. Though. I don't think it's thief. Well, that's the right not, word. It's not the right word. It's, give, it's a give and take kind of no. relationship. Yes. See, like, if you put it that way, they're taking. They're also receiving also something. See, from I know. From that's you. when I said. You remember I said in the beginning when they said, "Why are you bringing it to the table?" I said, mm. "Nobody have ever asked me because they already understand the, the mm-hmm. relationship." Mm. I wouldn't lie to you. Actually, when I was younger, I was what do you bring to the table? It was men trying to say, oh, I like you, I like you. And the next thing is that they want to have sex. Mm. And I think one time in my life, I was a, I was a, I, I pleased somebody that I was dating. Then when he wants it, I gave it to him. Mm. But I don't feel cool with myself. Mm. Now it's all my terms and yeah. your terms. Mm-hmm. Do you want it, baby? Yes. I want it, baby. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, we we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe yeah, tomorrow let's have sex. Let's do some crazy thing. I am yeah. that kind of person. I, I premeditate things. Mm-hmm. I have to imagine it. Mm-hmm. I have to imagine tomorrow my boyfriend's coming over. I'm making him food. I'm going to play some slow music. We do the bathtub. Yeah, I, I'm that kind of person. Mm. I know love be, a girl. Yeah, yeah I, I'm that kind of person. So... It's, I'm taking from you. So it's back in those days when I'm thinking about, ha, ah, I'm, I'm talking to this guy or I'm going out, I have to impress him or stuff, mm. stuff like that. I have something I want to bring to him. And if it's the yash you want, I have it. Mm-hmm. So what do you want? Hmm. Mm. What do you want, baby? Okay. okay. So it's all in days that they say all those things. So right now, I'm, I think I'm on that stage right now that I only be in life of people that I know that I'm getting something from. Something from, yeah. I, 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 I want to know. Mm-hmm. As a friend, what are you doing? You don't what have you to give me money. Me? 
But you be don't useful have to, somewhere. Yeah. Be useful I have to somewhere. Be useful. I See, agree. I want people think it's just That's, about money. I it's want not. People, I want people to understand is that that adage that says um 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 the say in your body say egg be yellow yeah what's off like um birds of the same feathers fly flock, together, flock together. Mm-hmm. or flock together. It's all in there still. I can be blue. You can be black. I agree. And you're orange. Mm-hmm. And we mix together real good because mm-hmm. there cannot be two good people. We mm-hmm. can be two church to every Sunday. Mm-hmm. My best friend balance. goes to the um, to the gym every day. Me, why you never enter gym? Me, I go to the gym. I do first day stop. Maybe second day. Check out. The third day out there. Especially at the point where if you come again. Do you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. And people will be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, now I've passed the stage of I want to be seen with people. Mm-hmm. I want to be seen with people. Mm-hmm. You know, the one you exaggerate when you call them inside, the people. You know, those kind of people. That's how, because I'm going on a stage right now that I feel like I've really given too much. Mm. Now I want to take. Okay. Mm. And if you think at this stage that you want to hurt me, before I forgive, now I do revenge. You come for me, I don't drag with you, but I'm coming for you. I either come with you with God or I come with you physically or I humiliate you and make you feel bad every single place I see you. I'm sorry because I've passed the era of... <laughs> they heard <laughs> me. <I> like, <laughs> no, to be honest, I'm Whoa. being honest with you. Is that not what this podcast is for? Yes, it is. Girl. Keep it real, baby. I'm, Keep it real, honesty. baby. I'm, 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 the stage you just shook me. I, no, I'm serious because, <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, I've not actually seen somebody hurt me in the past one year. Reason being, I've learned to filter people in my life. Mm. I've known that. Oh, I'm not getting from you. You're not getting from me. Then what's the point? There's no point. Yeah, I want a friend. I'll be like, oh, you're in a bad mood, girl. Dress up. Let's go outside. Mm. We outside. I have a friend like that. Mm-hmm. And everybody in my life have a purpose. Yeah, yeah. It's before that I talk to this. This is my friend. We, we, I post like you see me. I post happy birthday every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Now I don't wish you happy birthday. I even beg people not to wish me happy birthday because I don't see you as my friend. Mm. And we should know that. This is problem that people make. People come into your life. What do I bring to the table? No. What do we both bring to the table at the same time? That makes sense to us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I have a business idea? Mm-hmm. Are you bringing the money? Are we doing it together? Is that partnership? Mm-hmm. Yes. So what table? Yeah. If there's no table like that, break it and burn it. The fuck will sit on the floor and eat on the floor. Which mm-hmm. table? Out. Break it. <laughs> and this and this is where you have to categorize friends differently right like social you have a friend, friend social friend have a friend that you cry for you call yeah. boy problem financial See, problem business let me say ideas you let me say that I used to say Tolani I used to say you can never catch me Reason why I said that is that you can never see any gist of me on the blog that is real. Mm. It's I, I swear on my life, no receipts. None of you have nothing to talk about. You just come mm. and say, "Hey, club with this." Oh, I heard that. I see one. I say, "My friend said that." It's always my friend said that. Mm. Let the actual person come. come I don't out. deal with people yeah. that don't have things to lose. Mm. Okay, well, I've said that before. Yeah, yeah. I Facts. have something to lose, so I don't deal with people. Be yep. it friendship, be it business, or anything. If you don't have, because people. Don't, some people don't have shame. Yeah. And once I notice that you don't have shame, I cannot deal with you. You're not trustworthy. Mm, shameless. You want to hurt me? I'm forgetting that you're hurting yourself. You don't care. That's your problem. But you cannot do that to me. Hmm. I have different for, for, for different things. I have a friend that I tell everything mm-hmm. the way it is. Mm-hmm. I have a friend that will tell you the tip. Mm-hmm. And what I tell A is not what I ever tell B. My oh, best friend will always say, and say if you say yes, I, that's that that makes sense. sense. Yeah, no, it's not even confusing them. It's because I don't like I, don't I don't like to have a conversation, a private conversation in the midst of too many friends. Okay. I don't even have too many friends. That's the thing. No, I'm just saying like, like I have a couple of friends. Let's say in I can in one hand I can call them that I can call my friend, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say for instance, I have a friend called Savannah. We only talk business. Mm-hmm. And it's so perfect. Mm-hmm. The one time we tried to talk about men, it was, she was saying A, I was saying Z. It was not <laughs> you know, I have patients that I can tell everything. Mm-hmm. But there are still some things I won't tell you. She tell you, she say, you, you're so over, I'm so overprotected. I'm secretive. Mm. See, I will be fucking with this nigga. I will be on the same table I would, and I'll tell you, oh, I don't even meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I mm. am that kind of person. Mm. So, Chloe, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. It has been absolutely amazing having you here on thank Bad and so Bougie. Much. Hope you had a blast. Hope yes, that, You know, a lot of people have learned a thing or two people who want to do their bodies. Mm. People who, um, you know, have certain like 
you know, beauty standards. Maybe mm. they these standards have changed. Maybe they mm. haven't. Um, and yeah, we're so grateful to have you here. Thank on you the so show. much. Oh. Keep on being bad and also keep on being I bougie. I said I'm going with the bougie this time around. <laughs> okay, so keep on just being bougie then. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so All much, right, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you.